Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and in this video, I'm going to calculate cement, sand and cross stone for concrete which is just 1 to 4. Alright, 1 to 4 concrete that's also known by M15 you can say, which is the compressive strength of a concrete and that is of course 3000 PSI you can say, okay. That can also be written in form of like you can say 15 Newton per mm square where that's just m okay so that's just the compressive strength of a concrete okay does not matter so we'll calculate these three types of materials per one to four concrete all right okay just going ahead so in order to calculate these three uh, you can say ingredients we're gonna assume the volume of concrete is one cubic meter you can also assume that is 1 CFT does not matter, okay? 1 cubic meter can be, you can say, the wet volume of the concrete mass, you can say. So, wet concrete, you can say, that's just wet concrete. Alright, <clears throat> now in order to calculate the dry concrete, of course, we need to determine that, okay? So, we're gonna determine the dry volume of concrete and we're gonna multiply this wet volume with the factor which is of course 1.54 okay so in order to calculate the dry volume or you can say to convert the wet volume into dry we're going to multiply the wet with this factor okay and that's because when you enter admixtures in water to the dry uh, ingredients of concrete that just reduces the the volume you can say okay that reduction or you can say that that shortage of material can be added in advance that's why we just add this factor or you can say we multiply it okay so that factor is because of that phenomena this factor is um, mostly 1.54 it can be also 1.5 1.55 okay in many books that's 1.54 okay so that can be 1.5 five four again because one times one point five four that is the same thing okay cubic meter so that's now the dry volume okay now i'm going to calculate cement and in order to calculate cement if you remember that ratio that was just one two four okay so one represents cement two is for the fine aggregate or you can say sand and then four is for coarse aggregate or you can say the crust stone so in order to calculate cement okay cement we take the ratio of cement which is one and we just divide that by the sum up ratio which is of course seven sum up ratio means one plus two plus four and that is of course seven now we're gonna multiply this ratio with 1.54 which is of course the dry volume okay so make sure you get 0 0.22 cubic meter is the cement or you can say binding material you can also divide this by the volume of one cement bag which is going to be 0 0.035 okay so we can get of course the cement in num uh, you can say in form of bags and it's going to be uh, 6.29 bags okay so we need 6.29 bags per one cubic meter cement concrete when the ratio is 1 to 4 or you can say when it's m15 uh, concrete you can say okay next i'm going to calculate the you can say the the sand or a fine aggregate per date i'm going to say let's say sand that is going to be the the quantity of cement that is known which is 0 0.22 okay that's done if you see now the ratio of sand that is 2 so we're going to multiply this with 2 and that's going to be 0 0.44 cubic meter is the the sand okay now the next thing which is the coarse aggregate or you can say crushed stone and that is going to be of course if you see the ratio that is four okay in one to four four represents the crushed stone and that is of course four we can multiply that with the quantity of uh, cement which is 0 0.22 and that is going to be 0 0.88 you can say cubic meter is the crushed stone so this is how we can calculate the materials for any type concrete you can say it does not matter if it is 124 uh, 136 148 etc 
that's it so we need 0.88 cubic meter crestone 0.44 cubic meter the sand are fine aggregate and of course 6.29 bags cement per m15 cement concrete and that's it so thank you